check out this little morsel right here this is called the trd ticklers or or uh, ned ticklers here it's two and three quarter inches long it's just a very good ned rig bait it's basically a hybrid between a stick bait and the uh the hula stick that's been so famous with the ned rig lineup how i'm going to work this bait there's really not a wrong way to work any of the ned rig baits the the biggest thing is kind of figuring out what size sinker i think the fall rate is more important than how you work it because nine times out of ten when i'm casting at these little dark spots that you see along the bank they're going to hit it on the fall when i see a little stump or i see a, a pile of rocks as soon as it hits the water and this fall into the bottom usually that's when it gets it so i would think more about the fall rate and the size jig head to use there's not one jig head size for any situation you just got to figure out for the day what the fish are doing and use that appropriate jig head but when I work it, I just kind of let it hit the bottom and I just fill it back to the boat. I'll just kind of just boop, boop, just kind of make it act like a little crawdad or a little minnow. Just make it kind of any kind of shad or any kind of crawdad you ever notice when they're on the bottom is real erratic. They just kind of glide. They move a little bit and stop, move a little bit and stop. So um, that's what I do with it. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. You don't even have to let it sink to the bottom. You can kind of cast it out. A lot of times when it's real cold and fish are suspended, I'll just throw it out like that and just reel it back to the boat really slowly. And just that kind of dead action, just it looks like it's injured, that can be a way to catch them too. But the biggest thing is to remember, there's not a wrong way to do it, unless you're not getting bit. Oh God, dude, holy smokes. On their freaking ticklers. Oh my God. Oh, God. Look at this fish. Oh, dang, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did you see that big old thing? Oh my God. Get here, get here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tell me that the ticklers don't catch a big one. Look at that. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Golly. Oh yeah. Oh, so if you wonder, can you catch big bass on small baits and spinning rods? I think you can. I think you can. Jeez, look at that thing. So this is how I rig my Ned Rig here. This is uh, the ticklers that I just caught the good one on. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. This is real complicated. Watch it really closely. It's really complicated. You got a jig head, you got a soft plastic right here. The good thing about Elastec is, you know, when you go to rig this plastic, it doesn't matter how many times you pull it on and off the hook, it's still good. Elastec's just really strong and durable like that. Yet it's very soft and the fish really hold onto the bait really well. So what I do, you see, once I get it up to the keeper, this is the Ned Locks. This is a sixth ounce Ned Locks. Once I get it up to the keeper, I kind of grab him behind the shirt tail just like that and pull him up and over the keeper. Golden right there. It's done for the rest of the day. Unless I break off like I just did, you'll never have to replace that bait because you caught fish on it all day. So as simple as that, rig it up. Anybody can fish this bait. Anybody can rig this bait. TRD Ticklers.